game ending move. Yeah. No shotguns as secondaries. Definitely no. Yeah. Definitely, definitely no commando perks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No last stands. Yeah. Fuck you, last stand. What is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King John CB4, and today I'll be reviewing the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 beta. If you guys were not aware yet, I was able to live stream this game for four hours on Sunday, and then even after the four hours, I was still playing it two hours later. So, um, I can tell you so many things about this game, but first I'm gonna start off with the negative side, and I'm hoping some of you guys don't take it wrong, but I think this game needs to be delayed. To be honest, the servers have been super bad. I think there has been a lot of, you know, evidence about it because in, during my first, like, hour of the stream, the game was, like, super laggy, people are running around like they were pixelated or something, because you know how they released, recently released the, the Doom package or whatever, the, the shotgun that looks like all pixelated when you reload? everybody looked like that like everybody was running around like all pixelated and i was like what the hell's going on i'm pretty sure it's not my eyesight but when that happened i wasn't able to damage enemies at all and they were still running around and stuff the game was still going and yet sometimes the game will freeze and not only that sometimes people from overseas will join the server and they will crash the entire server or even cause the app to close and i was like what the hell like i got nothing against overseas players but like dude you're crashing the freaking server if it's that sensitive then obviously the game is not ready to get released you know because the game kept on crashing so um it happened like around 20 percent of the time but that 20 percent can become major when it happens on big moments when you're doing good and stuff like that at that point you'll be pissed off and it will just turn away gamers so obviously this game needs a little bit more work on that situation but then again it's just a beta but in my opinion i think they need a little bit more of a delay on this thing maybe like towards the end of november but who knows i'm just a small youtuber i'm not gonna make a big impact saying that so it's just my opinion anyways moving on to the next thing the graphics look amazing to be honest it looks more clear compared to modern warfare 2 I'm not sure how to really explain that side because in modern warfare 2 i didn't do good at all in modern warfare 3 it kind of feels more like vanguard it feels more clear <laughs> i don't know how to explain it but in vanguard i did get like over 100 plus kills in the first two weeks of release so it, i did good in this game <laughs> i really did so i can't wait to play the full game once it releases and stuff and um you know to see more about it because the weapon selection was pretty limited i mean the assault rifles and battle rifles were amazing in this game i think once you get all the attachments you'll be super op with them compared to the smg selection i mean they need to I'm hoping the full game releases more than just three SMGs. I know we had the Scorpion Evo and the UMP and stuff and some other one I didn't get to use because you need to be higher level, um, but they need to be more. There needs to be more. They need to be a little bit more buff too because I feel like the UMP was a little bit bad from close range combat, but a little bit good from mid. So I don't know, man. They need a little bit more rework, especially the LMGs. The LMGs need to be buffed for fuck's sake. Like, I swear, every time I aim down, I know the aiming down is pretty slow, but... Um, if they're gonna be doing that then might as well just increase the damage because they were super weak i had to waste like half a mac to kill someone so i'm pretty sure it's because of that or it's maybe it's because you know i didn't have most of the attachments unlocked but the lmgs need a serious buff um the map selection was pretty good i'm not, I'm not gonna lie but they didn't need to bring back the old school servers <laughs> you know how they brought back the old school maps you know they didn't need to bring the entire old school thing back back because back in the modern warfare 2 era like the original one and the modern warfare 3 original one too the servers were super bad sometimes you know when somebody quit the whole server issue was starting like right off the bat so yeah that's a, just a tiny joke anyways um the marksmen and the snipers i have no words for them because i'm not a sniper nor a quick scoper so i really can't help you guys with that at all as far as the rest of the weapons go they are a pretty good selection i just wish there was more smgs available uh the kill streak selection is not bad to be honest i think it's decent um hopefully in the full game we get more helicopters available maybe the reaper maybe the ac-130 maybe the the stealth bombers and stuff like that and that was my phone but anyways yeah, we need more kill streaks. But one of the things that makes me concerned the most is that why the hell is there a juggernaut available at eight kills? Who thought that was a good idea? <laughs> like, to be honest, you can get that stuff within the first minute because even when you turn it into score streaks instead, once you get a few kills and a few like sensors here and there and some few equipments that can get you extra points, you can get it pretty darn quick. So who thought that was a good idea they need to like tone that down to 10 kills or to 12 kills because there's no way a juggernaut 
can be available that early so whatever it's just my opinion i know it's super fun to use one but like god damn they need to like chill out with that but anyways that's pretty much my quick review about this i want to give the beta a 7.5 out of 10 if they would have fixed the servers it would have been an 8.5 out of 10 because it's actually it could be a great game it's just the servers made it look a little bit shitty so that's my opinion anyways so that is all guys i'm hoping this game does does good in the first day and i don't wish any bad juju on it so i just want call of duty to be great again so anyways leave a like leave a comment tell me what's up and i'll see you guys on the next one fuck you <laughs>